Man, the recoil is just nothing on it. I can't get over it. I've shot over a box now. This is a under six pound rifle, super lightweight. It looks awesome, it feels good. The accuracy has been great. Like this is as good as a $5,000 custom gun coming from the factory. Plus it's in cool cartridges. I like this thing. The recoil feels like nothing. It's 300 PRC in a sub six pound gun and it just feels like nothing, the recoil. I love this. Well, do you think I can shoot it? Yeah, you wanna try? Will it hurt me? I don't think so. I'm a little nervous. You usually don't ask to shoot. This is different for you. Well, you've gotten all these cool guns. I thought I might as well. And now I just pull the trigger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this video is brought to you by manscaped.com. Guys, the other day I was talking with a buddy and naturally I quizzed him on the three odor zones on the male body and he didn't even know. Obviously it's the three B's, body, butt, and balls. If you're not addressing them all, you probably got a little stink going on. So Manscaped sent me their performance package 4.0. Let's see how it helps. First, any homeowner can tell you the HOA won't like it if you don't mow your lawn. The Lawn Mower is Manscaped's electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, cordless charger, and a convenient 90 minute battery life. Next, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant that you can apply after a shower and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray is perfect for a refresher at the end of the day. And unless you like the elderly professor in a sweater vest look, go for the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. For a limited time, you can get all this plus two free gifts, the Shed Travel Bag and Manscaped's wonderfully soft boxer briefs. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping and the two free gifts if you use coupon code BACKFIRE at checkout. Manscaped, always use the right tools for the job. Today, we get to go in the secret closet. I have my gun room here next to the office. I'm getting a safe door installed, but don't have it yet. But over here is where I put guns that I can't yet show on a video. But today is being released a new gun that I'm about to show you, but we've got to, sh got to talk about what this is. So I just did this custom gun that I call Sergeant Slaughter. It's awesome where, you know, you're getting a $1,500 action, $1,500 chassis, $1,000 barrel, a $300 trigger. You put everything together and you get the best of the best. But that's an extremely expensive gun, you know, $5,000 to do a custom rifle. This is from Fierce. This is the Rogue. And what they do is what we call semi-custom rifles, where they're making everything and you can customize your barrel length and everything. But because they're building a lot of them, they can get the economies of scale to get it down a lot cheaper. So I've showed some rifles on this channel that you guys really liked and I did, like the Springfield 2020 Waypoint. This one's even a little bit cheaper than that. You know, uh, Savage 110 Ultralight, this is a tiny bit more than. Uh, Seekins Havoc, this is less than. It's a pretty impressive price point that they've come out for what it is. It looks hot. I mean, it is carbon everything in there. Here's the impressive thing to me. When you pick this up, it is among the lightest rifles I have ever held. This is between 5.3 and 5.8 pounds. And so I was shocked when Fierce sent this over that it's in 300 PRC. So that's a big heavy hitter cartridge in a very lightweight package. I'm wondering how that's going to shoot. This has a three quarter MOA accuracy guarantee, whereas their other rifles are half MOA. With no further ado, I wanna take this thing out into the range and see what kind of accuracy we get out of this package. It is a very muddy day out here. Also, Emily says that this jacket looks ugly. I think it's come back in fashion. It is 20 years old. Terrible. No, I think it might be good. I think I like it. 
Right, for accuracy testing, I dumped a couple boxes worth of ammo through the barrel on this thing. I was a little bit nervous about the accuracy testing because given the muddy day, I had to shoot out of my truck bed, which is kind of a rocky platform. Plus it's 300 PRC and a very lightweight rifle. There was a little bit of wind that day. I only had one load to test and still the results were really good. On average of all the groups that I shot, the average group size was 0.75 inches. That's under three quarters MOA. And notably for me is, I don't wanna see a gun that can shoot one incredible group. I wanna see the consistency. And so notable for me is the largest group I ever shot with it was 1.15 inches at 100 yards. So I'm definitely pleased with the accuracy results given the kind of situation that we had to do the testing in. Next, let's go to feeding. The feeding of this gun was perfect. You can feel it almost instantly when you get a new gun. That first time where it grabs the, the head of the cartridge and pushes it up, and you can just tell if this thing is gonna work reliably or not. You know, it's, often I'll feel it and it's kind of stuttery, whatever. And every time you feel like you have to look to see if you grabbed one. This thing, after just the first few, I knew I didn't even have to come out of the scope and it was gonna grab it every time. That is huge for me. And I would say that's a valuable place to put money. So in the cheapest guns, you know, 300, 500, $600 guns, you see quite a lot of feeding issues in there, especially because they want to offer those guns in a ton of different cartridges. They want the 300 PRC, they want the 6.5 Creedmoor, the 204 Ruger, everything, right? And so they don't do a ton of testing of each cartridge in the magazine and the action to make sure it's feeding well. When you get into the more expensive guns, they're really testing each cartridge that it fits in to make sure it feeds well. And that thing just fed perfectly. So which cartridges is this available in? I was, I asked, the first thing I asked is when they said this, I said, are you going to have it in seven PRC? And it is seven PRC, it's gonna be available like now. So that was pretty exciting. That's definitely what I would order this in. Let's talk the trigger. So this is the Bixen Andy tr uh, trigger and it just feels great. It's, a, it's adjustable from one to three pounds, and it just, it's perfect. That's exactly what you would want. A lot of hunting rifles, even at the more expensive price points, kind of put lawyer triggers in them that really will only go down to three pounds, something like that. This is a nice safe, you can go between one and three pounds, a competition trigger. It feels really, really good. I will say my biggest complaint on the gun is the palm swell feels really good. The grip feels really good. However, it does put you kind of far from the trigger. Like it does feel like it's a little bit of a reach. If I'm in a comfortable spot with my wrist, it's a little bit of a reach. And I am addressing that trigger at a little bit of an angle, if you can see there. If we had a little bit more of a vertical grip here, I could get a more 90 degree pull on that trigger, which does aid in accuracy. Having said that, I mean, I'm shooting really well. The other thing is, that's one of the ways that they can shave a little bit of weight by having a more horizontal grip here, just you need less mass here. And that's how you're getting an incredibly light backcountry rifle. Then recoil. Um, man, I thought that this was gonna be iffy to have a sub six pound rifle in 300 PRC. I was not so sure about that. Man, it shoots like a 308. It really does. And I think a couple things have to do with that. One, they are using limb saver recoil pads. That's my favorite. I really like limb saver. I think it's actually squishy enough to do something. Then obviously it's got a brake too. It does come included with a radial port brake all the way around. And so if you shoot this, you know, on the dust in the summer, it's gonna be, you're gonna be in a cloud of dust, but it is very, very effective. You know, when we did that test, if you guys remember the video where I tested um, a muzzle brake, it cut like 45% of the recoil in that test that we did. And more you feel it here. So if a 300 PRC has what, 40 foot pounds of energy of recoil energy, you know, you chop 40% off that would be like 24. I don't know, I wasn't good in math. I wanna do one thing just kind of for fun. 
I had these bowling pins out here and I was just shooting them with a handgun the other day just for fun. Bowling pins are a great, tr great target, by the way. And so this is my Springfield Emissary 1911. And oh, got to put on hearing protection. And you guys know if you've shot a lot of pistol, the uh, it can take it. The bowling pin just is completely unscathed with 45 ACP, even whatever that is, 20 yards away. So I did want to see if a bowling pin can take a 300 PRC. This thing's a cannon. Woo! Okay. Oh yeah. All right, it did bust through it. It's still like 300 PRC from whatever 15, 20 yards away. And it definitely cracked it, but it's not as much damage as I would have thought. All right, so what's the verdict on this guy? I mean, if I were to pay, you know, five grand for a custom rifle, the best stock, the best barrel, the best action, and you get everything and you want it to work well together, and this is what a gunsmith sent me for a custom gun, I'd be happy with it. There's just not nothing to complain about. It's incredibly lightweight. The trigger is great. The feeding is perfect. And the accuracy is excellent. It's that three quarter MOA that we're promised in one of the lightest rifles I have ever reviewed. This gun is amazing for the price point. I know some of you are gonna see this and be like, $2,000 gun, that's ridiculous. But if you, if you kind of know about uh, these rifles and what you're getting here and compare it to other similarly priced rifles, they're gonna sell a ton of these things. I, I think it's my favorite in this price point for sure. The Fierce Rogue definitely gets a stamp of approval from me. I need to do this more. <laughs>